Hey guys, what's up? It's Alec Torelli. I'm back here at the Win Macau playing some high stakes poker and I'm gonna show you how this one simple play using one simple card in my hand and one strategy changed the way I played this hand. So check it out right here from the hand of the day. Hand of the day. So I just got to Macau and I put my name on the list for all these games. First seat that opened up was a 100-200 game, so I hop in while waiting for some other games and I find myself in a really interesting hand that I'd like to share with you guys because this is a spot that might come up in your game and it could show you how the power of using blockers and removal to make high level decisions that could really make the difference between a play that is marginal and a play that's really profitable and it's something that people aren't really doing uh, that I don't really see going on that much but I think is a great play that could really help improve your game and your win rate. Playing in a limped pot, got two limpers and I'm in the small blind with queen jack offsuit. I call the big blind checks. Flop comes ace king queen and we check around. Turn comes a 10 of spades. So I have the nuts with the jack of spades in my hand, which is important, we'll see why in a second. I check, check, limper bets 500, other limper calls, and now it's on me. Before we get to what happened in this hand, I want you to think for a second about what you would do here and why. All right, so in this spot, I have the jack of spades in my hand, which is a super important card. Why? Because I have what's called a blocker, meaning I'm not worried about anybody having a redraw to the nuts. So I, no, I'm never gonna be in a spot where I could lose this hand at this point in time. I'm never getting free rolled because nobody could have a straight with a flush redraw. I can lose the hand, of course, if someone has a two pair and the board pairs or someone has a flush draw and a flush card comes, but at this point, I'm never gonna be on a free roll. At the same time, I could technically have the jack of spades in my, I could have jack X of spades with a straight and a flush redraw where somebody else is getting free rolled. So if you're in someone else's spot and you're facing a big bet and if you, if you get put to a big decision in this spot, you're thinking to yourself, wow, I have to call this huge bet and I'm hoping to chop the pot because yes, I have the other opponent has a jack and I have a jack, but the best thing that happens is I chop. The worst thing that happens is a spade comes and I lose. I end up going all in for 30,000 into a pot that's like 2,000. And the reason is because my opponent is gonna have to call 29,500 hoping to chop the pot. So I want them to fold a jack. It's really likely that someone has a jack in this spot. I'm not trying to get a flush draw to call. I'm not worried about two pair or anything like that. What I'm trying to do is get a jack to fold because they're getting pretty terrible odds and they have to assume that I'm the one that has the jack of spades with another spade in my hand and they're getting free rolled. So that one blocker changes the way that I play this hand. If I didn't have the jack of spades, I would never make this move because I'd be worried, of course, that someone else has a jack with a flush draw and I'd be the one getting free rolled. But this blocker allows me to make that play with confidence and really put pressure on my opponents in spots where I otherwise couldn't have. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video. Is this crazy? Do you like it? What are your thoughts? Let me know in a comment below and I'm always learning from your feedback as well. This hand was super popular on Instagram, so I wanted to make a video about it, sharing my thoughts on a little bit more in depth uh, here for you in this video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. There's more awesome content on this YouTube about life in Macau, poker player in Macau, uh, and more hand of the days from my life in Macau as well. I end up going all in and both players tanked for a while. I actually think they both had jacks because they both tanked for a pretty long time and they both ended up folding. So this is a play that ended up winning me a, a, a decent sized pot. I mean, it's not a massive pot, but it's still a pot that I won that I would have chopped. So that's essentially free money that you're getting by executing on these plays that other people aren't really making in the streets today. More content coming your way. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Cheers.